Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharva here and today we're going to discuss a different topic. This is not a programming tutorial or something like that, but today we're going to see how to test your dApps on Ethereum mainnet. So there are some situations where you just cannot use Ethereum test nets, like you cannot just use Goerli or something like that. And that's basically when you have dependencies on Ethereum mainnet. So imagine that you have a token which is on Ethereum mainnet and which is not on Goerli, but you need to test how that works in your dApp before you push to Ethereum mainnet. So how you can do that? Like a normal person would just imagine that there's no other choice. We just need to test this on Ethereum mainnet. And if something goes wrong, we will just pay the gas fees again to deploy the smart contract again. But this is not the ideal way. We have a different way and which is called as Ethereum mainnet forking. So what is mainnet forking? So you basically stop the mainnet right there. So imagine you have a mainnet, mainnet state running. You stop it right there and you create your own and you just, I mean, you just fork that mainnet for yourself. So you just create a copy of it, but it's not really a copy, but you stop that uh, mainnet at that time and you have that for yourself. So you can just test it. So if this is too complicated, uh, just imagine that you are just stopping the main net for yourself and creating it as your own private test net and that will be all your private test net so it won't affect the main net so don't worry about it and all the funds you will use in that test net will be test funds will be dummy funds so you can just in person at any account you want and you can do whatever you want so yeah that's an ideal condition and all the tokens and all the smart contracts will have the same old contract address you don't need to worry about them getting changed so yeah uh, we are going to look at how to do that in this episode and yeah uh, all i'm going to ask is if you really like my tutorials make sure you hit the subscribe button and watch till the very end so yeah let's get started okay so let's first ask ourselves how are we going to do this how are we going to fork the ethereum mainnet without downloading the ev every data stored on mainnet and crashing our computers and that's where hard hat comes in place and not only hard hat even ganache does that but ganache is known to be slow in this case so we will be using hard hat and what this does is it doesn't download the entire blockchain to your computer but it accesses the certain points of the blockchain when you request it so if you are dealing with some kind of smart contract which was deployed like a year ago then it will try to find the block number of that contract address and it will fetch that block and it won't download the entire blockchain so yeah that's how it works so let's go ahead and create our app so i'll just say i'll just create a new folder so i'll say mkdir and let's name it mainnet fork and let's go to mainnet fork and now let's do npx hard hat so we are going to initialize an hard hat project here. So I have tried doing this. So uh, create an empty hard hat dot config dot js doesn't work for me for whatever reason. And a lot of tutorials on the internet, a lot of articles, a lot of videos tell to use this specific option, but this has never worked for me. And a lot of things on those tutorials didn't work for me. So just consider this as an updated tutorial. So I'll be just creating a basic sample project. And I'll be pressing tab to use the same folder. Do I want to add getting? No, yeah, sure. And let's install the dependencies. Perfect. Now, depending on your system and internet connection, this might take between three to five minutes. So I'll just skip this till it's completes. Okay, so this process is completed. Now we go ahead and open Visual Studio Code in this folder. So I'll say code dot and let's wait for VS Code to open. Perfect and now we don't need to touch any of that because we aren't deploying any smart contracts for this tutorial but of course you would deploy some smart contracts right so you can just do that right here and it will be seamless so let's go to hardhat.config.js we have everything here we don't need to touch anything we just need to change the config now let's go ahead and add a new object here which is called as networks and in networks we will have hardhat and here i believe we have forking and in forking we have two things first of all we have enabled which should be true and the second option should be url 
and this URL should be your RPC URL for whatever blockchain you are trying to fork. So we are trying to fork Ethereum mainnet here. So I'll be using an RPC URL I generated from Alchemy. So hold on. Uh, yeah, I just copied the URL. Let's paste this here. Perfect. And then we are going here and we are going to set a few things. So first of all, this won't just work if you try to add it on MetaMask. It will give a lot of errors and it won't work. So for this tutorial, we need to set the chain ID to one which matches with Ethereum mainnet. So yeah, and yeah, that's all I believe. Yeah. And now let's go to our terminal and let's do npx or oh, let's first clear the entire terminal. Let's have this clean. And now we have npx hard hat node. So this will set up a blockchain for us, but we want the network to be hard hat. So the name should be hard hat, which we set in our config file, which is in turn forking the Ethereum main net to the RPC URL we generated from Alchemy. So I'll just press enter. And now this should spin up our blockchain, which will be in turn forking everything. So yeah, now we have the fork on. There are no confirmations, but I am pretty sure that that's working. Uh, we have, okay. So let's check this for ourselves. Now, if we go to like, if we, we need to use any of the private keys here and add it to MetaMask. So you can even add this to your hard hat project to deploy contracts but uh, I, w I just want to show that this works so we will be adding this to metamask so i'll open a new tab here perfect we will open metamask and we are going to add a new wallet here so we are going to do import account and we need the private key so we will just copy this private key and please 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 note that don't use this private key for production purposes because these are publicly known private keys so any funds you send to this will automatically be stolen so please don't use these keep your test accounts play accounts and production accounts like whatever the you keep them safe or i mean don't keep them same or you will get dropped so yeah <laughs> okay so let's go to settings because we need to change our network so we'll say network and you're going to say add network now we are going to add a network here so we're just going to say hard hat fork and the rpc url here should be the one we are gotten by here so let's check here what's the rpc url so this is the rpc url so we're just going to copy this and we're just going to paste this and the chain ID should be one. So in case you are not sure about the chain ID, you can just enter your anything else and you will see the return chain ID here. So you can just enter one, but we know that it's one. So we'll just enter one anyways. The currency symbol should be ETH. So this gives an error, but you can, you just need to ignore it for now. So yeah, let's just save this. And now, yeah, you see you had 10,000 Ethereum and we have zero usdt now you can use this account wherever you want on any dapp like even you can just go ahead and use ens if you want and that will still work so yeah uh, let, let's go ahead and take the example of uniswap for example so let's go ahead to uniswap so yeah and let's launch the app now this will is this connected to our hard hat fork yes now let's connect our wallet metamask yep we need account three yes and now we will swap one eth for usdt so now now note this that uniswap is only on ethereum mainnet and this will still work so i'm just trying to prove a point here that you can just fork the ethereum mainnet and use it as it was a real mainnet and you can just test your things here before you push to the real ethereum mainnet so you can just click on swap and transaction here takes some time i will i'm not gonna lie transaction takes some time because um it takes time for alchemy to 
fetch the real data from the real blockchain and return it back here so sometimes it takes time sometimes it's fast so yeah it says transaction submitted now let's uh, we won't be doing view one explorer because it will reflect on the main main net which which has nothing now let's go to our assets and now we see that we have 1634 usdt which is pretty amazing that main net contracts are being called by our ethereum main net fork now if we go back just for a proof if we go back to our ethereum main net which is the real one we have nothing else we have everything zero so yeah that's how it works uh, the state is uh, after forking whatever we do can only be done on our end so it's it's your basically your private testnet so everyone stopped using ethereum suddenly and it's your own private testnet so yeah sometimes it gives errors while uh, changing networks so sometimes you might need to restart the um, the fork but other than that it's pretty smooth like for now you see that there's some problem and these problems are mainly caused by metamask and let me tell you one more error so sometimes you will face some nonce errors and i will tell you how to fix that so let's go to hard hat fork let's hope yeah now that you restarted the fork everything is lost and everything is back to normal so if you get nonce errors or if you get uh, unable to estimate gas you just need to go to settings just need to go to advanced and click on reset account now this won't delete any of your accounts but this will just reset the nonce because the chain id is matched with real ethereum mainnet so it's in sync with the real mainnet so that's why you just need to do this once to fix it now yeah that's how you can do this so yeah again this was just a very short video about how you can do this and it will save you a lot of hours while testing and save you probably a lot of money spending gas fees only for testing on ethereum mainnet so yeah i hope this video was helpful to you because i was stuck in some problems so i needed to i needed to fork the ethereum mainnet to solve the problem and it was pretty confusing because if i go into hard hat documentation they were pretty good but sometimes there were errors which were which had no reference nowhere like even on stack overflow there were no answers so i just tried to mess around with the code and it somehow worked and that's how i did it like the way i showed in the video so yeah i hope you liked the video and i hope you use this for some good way like creating smart contracts testing them so we didn't cover smart contracts here but you can definitely use remix id or even hard hat itself to deploy on your ethereum mainnet fork and you can just try to test things out so yeah that is it for this video guys if you like this video make sure you click on the like button and subscribe button to show me some support we are really close to 1000 subscribers and i really want to reach 1000 subscribers within one month and that will be the happiest day of my life ever so yeah make sure you subscribe the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye